In the video today, learn how to mirror your Samsung Galaxy A15 screen to your TV or how to play videos from your phone to your TV. First, I'm gonna show you how to mirror your phone screen from the phone to the TV. To do this, you'll need to swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down again, and you'll need to tap on the Smart View icon in the bottom left corner. Now, this option is one of the main options for trying to mirror your phone to the TV, and it is built into the software. And so that's why this is the, this is the method I would tell you to go if you have a Samsung Smart TV or if you have a Roku. If you have one of those two devices, this is the best way to mirror your screen to the TV, okay? So I'm gonna show you this method first. If you don't have one of those two devices, don't worry. I'm gonna show you a different way after this. So make sure you stay tuned to the video. I'm gonna show you a few different ways to do this. Hopefully one will match your setup, okay? So um, I turn my TV on, let's slide our phone over here. I'm gonna drop the TV right here so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing in real time. On the phone, you'll wanna swipe down from the top. Make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi. You will need Wi-Fi for this to work. Um, now, I'm gonna tap on my Samsung Smart TV. Also, make sure your TV is turned on, by the way, if you don't have it on. And if you're using a Roku, make sure you switch to the input that your Roku is connected to. Those are important. If not, the devices may not show up in this list. Let's tap on the, the Samsung TV, hit start now. Give it a few seconds, you'll see a pop-up on the screen. And yep, there we go, our phone is now mirrored. So now anything I do on the phone is gonna show up on the TV. So this is a great option if your goal is to maybe show your gameplay, maybe you're playing a game and you wanna show how it plays on the phone, or maybe you're trying to show someone how to use a piece of software on your phone. And in this case, it's really great to be able to open up that software and be able to show them you know, if I hit this button, this happens and vice versa. Also a great option if you have pictures from a trip that you're trying to show a group of people. So when you're all done, tap on this circle in the upper right corner and you'll wanna tap the disconnect button. This will stop the phone from mirroring to the TV. Now this was the first method. Uh, let me show you another option. If you don't have a Samsung Smart TV or Roku, but you have a Google Chromecast, then you can do this option. You'll want to uh, go to the Play Store and do a search for the Google Home app, which is a free app, download it, and then we'll open up this app. Same thing, make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi, you will need that as well. Now, here I'm on the main screen of the Google Home app. I'm gonna switch over to the Devices tab and the name of my Chromecast is DIN TV. So I'm gonna tap on DIN TV, and then I'm gonna tap on cast my screen, and then tap cast screen again, hit start now, give it a couple of seconds, and then you will see my screen show up on the TV, there you go. And now, same thing, anything I do on the phone is gonna show up on the TV, which is great. So those are two different options for just straight up mirroring. Now, disclaimer, if your goal is simply, hey, I just wanna watch a video from YouTube on my big screen, this isn't the right method to use, okay? If you're purely just trying to watch a video, I would tell you, use this other method, which I think works a little bit better. So first, let's swipe down from the top of the screen. You'll see an option that says cast screen. Let's go ahead, so just take your finger and just drag down on that option here to bring up this little disconnect button and tap disconnect. And that will stop the phone from mirroring to the TV. Now, for this method, you'll simply wanna go to the app that has the video that you want to show on the TV. Okay, for this example, I'm gonna open up the YouTube app and I'm gonna show you how to cast or send a YouTube video from your phone to the TV. Let's go to YouTube. I already have a video that's ready to go. So uh, all I simply did was open the video, pause it, and you'll wanna tap on this little icon, which is called the cast icon. It looks like a little TV with a little uh, Wi-Fi symbol in the corner. You tap on that. This is gonna show you all the available devices that you can connect to, to mirror your screen. Now, um, one disclaimer with this, 
So um, some TVs do need to be turned on in order for them to show up in the list. That's important. And um, what's cool here is that this is my TCL TV, which is actually turned off, but it is connected to Wi-Fi, so it shows up in the list. Um, and this is my Samsung monitor here. So um, just know that whatever device you're trying to connect to, make sure it's turned on because sometimes it won't show up in the list. Let's go ahead and select our Samsung TV. I want to use this same TV I'm using right now. Give it a few seconds and you'll see that video show up on the TV. There it is. I'm going to unpause it and let it play. And the, the cool thing about this method is that um, while that video is playing, I can continue to use my phone, but do other things. So the video is playing right now. It's just uh, the volume's turned down. Um, if I want to send a text message, guess what? I can send that. Everyone's not going to see my phone. Maybe I want to make a phone call. Maybe I want to play a game, whatever it is. You can use your phone to do all the normal things you would do while this video is playing on the TV. So this is why, this is my preferred method in order to um, mirror, because most of the time I'm just trying to play a video from my phone to the TV. So. Those are the different options there. When you're all done, simply swipe down from the top of the screen. You'll have this pop-up here. And I forgot to mention this, but here you can actually control the video from your phone. So we can fast forward it if we want to. We can pause it. We have our track back, track forward, or simply just tap on this whole pop-up here and tap that um, cast icon and hit disconnect. And that's it, a couple seconds. It'll then stop mirroring from the phone to the TV. So these are uh, the two most uh, frequently used options to mirror your phone to a TV. Now, one more thing I wanna share and one question you guys may have is, can I just buy a cable and just connect that cable from my phone to the TV? Unfortunately, the answer is no. Um, that feature is only available on the um, S series Samsung phones is basically their highest flagship tier of phones. They don't normally give that capability to this tier of phone. So unfortunately you can't just buy a cable to connect your phone to the TV. So that's out of the question. Um, you will need to um, either again, have a Samsung smart TV, have a Roku or a Chromecast. Those are the easiest ways to do it. If you have a Amazon Fire TV or an Amazon Fire Stick, the second uh, option I showed you will work, which is simply uh, going to the video first and hitting the cast option. That will allow you to mirror it to your uh, Amazon Fire devices, all right? If you guys found value in this video, please stop and bump that like button. It definitely helps the video get shared to more people. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.